Hello, everyone, and welcome back for another edition of 8 Minutes with Aaron. I am, of course, your host, Aaron, and today we are going to go over some special Funko Pops, which I am sure I've never showed you before because they have still been sitting at the bottom of my desk. So let's get rolling with a fresh edition of this guy right here, Aaron. Now, Funko Pops come and go in this office. I have them come into this office, and then they go into a corner. So that's coming and going, folks. Now, as I stated before, I put a really poor investment into a kid who told me he was going to get me a bunch more lucrative money for buying Funko Pops and One Piece cards. It never came to fruition. He dicked me over for months, and he is a douchebag. Now, I don't want to say his name because, like I said, I don't want to give bad shit on people, but I am extremely pissed off, and I hope he burns in hell. Anyway, after my, you know, bad voodoo-doo-doo sending out here, I need to talk about the Funko Pops that he sent over, right? So, now, there was a show called Attack on Titan. A lot of people liked it, a lot of people loved it, and this guy right here really didn't care for it. But we got some Funko Pops, and we have a Colossal Titan... Ooh la la. And then over here, we have another Funko Pop from the series A. What is this skin? Oh, Annie Lionheart. So let's see if I can give you any information that I remember off the top of my head. Now, I believe Annie was with, hmm, what is that guy's name there? Uh, it has an L in it. No, maybe it's not an L. Maybe it's not an L at all. I can't even remember his name. I can see, oh, Levy! Levy, that dude, I think she was with Levy and the uber-ass, you know, army John that killed the Titans and crap like that. I don't even know what they were called. That's that's how much I paid attention on Attack on Titan. And then over here, we have a Colossal Titan that in the beginning of the show, when you first start off, the first epi, you saw this dude coming over the big tower and he was scaring the shit out of a bunch of people. Everybody is running and this dude... I uh, met the main character, Ewan Gregor, Erin Greg, whatever the hell's last name is, and met him and blah, 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 blah. Now, on the back of this Funko Pop, it actually does show you the Titan coming over the wall. And on the side of it, it also shows you the Titan coming over the wall. We're going to actually take this Funko Pop out and take a better look at it because it probably looks mammoth and cool and the detail on it just looks sick from the box. There are different versions of the Colossal Titan. There has been a pre-release version and i'm sure there's a normal version and you know what there's a piece of tape on this so i guess i'm not opening this up it's never been taken out of the box so we are going to put it back in the box and instead what we're going to do is i'm going to plop a picture right up here and then i'm going to look at this funko pop and describe it to you guys and that went maybe that's the same thing you know as taking it out and showing you physically so this Funko Pop looks amazing. I love the detail. It has no skin. It's basically, you know, just a person with their skin ripped off. And you can see their innards and their muscles and shit like that. I have no idea where they got the idea for the Titans to look like this. But it looks pretty cool. It looks like that Inside Out thing on the uh, episode of Rick and Morty. When Summer used the uh, machine to grow her titties really big. And then grew really big. And then turned herself inside out. And the mom turned herself inside out. That's basically what it looks like. You got the teeth coming out. You see them, Johns. Most of the Titans' teeth were very beautifully done. None of them had any uh, bad dental work. So maybe they all saw the same dentist. It looked pretty neat. And uh, yeah, if you see this Funko Pop up here, you see how awesome and in shape he was. I wonder if you're like a fat guy and then you turned into a uh, Titan if you got like all nice and skinny and built and shit like that. And you're like, I'm, I'm a colossal guy. Uh, this wasn't anyone I don't think in particular. You know how like there was the Beast Titan that was somebody, and then you had the Armor Titan that was somebody else. The Colossal Titan, I have no idea what the hell it was. And yes, it is a six-inch Funko Pop, and a lot of people like this dude. I, I don't know what to tell you, folks. I really don't give a crap about Attack on Titan. And maybe it was because I read it, and throughout the story, it just kind of got weirder and weirder. And maybe I missed, uh, you know, a portion of it where I got mis just got misinformed about what the hell is happening and I got confused. Very possible. I get confused very, very easily. But at the end of the series, I thought the ending was garbage. I thought it was a lot like... I want to compare it to, you know, like, Germany and World War II and everything like that. They're trying to, like, exterminate a group of people. But then there was, like, a higher class. There's a hierarchy. And then the people who lived in the town where the Titans attacked, they were, like, the trash. I don't know. 
I could be wrong. Like I said, that's my understanding of it. And it, I don't know, but there were different factions, different groups, and some people were the rich class, some people were the poor class, and it was very, very shitty, you know? There was a part in there where I was reading, and um, it was like Eren's family, like, because Eren's dad was a titan himself, and then he made the injection, that, and he stabbed Eren, that's why Eren had the ability to turn into the Mega Titan, because he had the special titan blood that his dad got. Um, but his dad had a really sad story, too, and... There were cops one day that, you know, found him and his sister in the field wandering when they were kids. And, you know, he, they were like, you need to go back to your family. And then they murdered his sister on the way back home because they're freaking dirtbag douchebags. Uh, so here's Annie. Annie wasn't on a, you know, plastic or taped up. So I did take her out. This one just looks like a normal, um, I don't know, whatever the army's called. The revolution or... I don't fucking know. I'm so bad with Attack on Titan. You can ask me 74,000 questions about Attack on Titan. I would get every single one of them wrong. Unless you gave me like a multiple choice. And then maybe I'd do better. But this is Annie. Annie Lionheart. Leo. Li I guess it's Lionheart. Leonheart. Leonheart. Not Lion. There's no I in it. Uh, yeah. It looks like she's got those little grapply things. It goes. And you swing on them. And then you slice the nape of the. Titans and action. Hi Hiyaj! 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 So I, I don't know what Annie does. I do got a phone here. I can maybe look her up a little bit. But be fair, I really don't know. And I don't really care. But in the interest of time, since I know I have it. It says Annie Lionheart, also known as the... Oh, she was a female Titan. I didn't know she was a female Titan, folks. She was a female Titan and antagonist of the anime Magna series Attack on Titan. A 14 meter tall Titan with previously unheard of feminine body structure encountered during the expedition to Walmaria. Now that I'm reading this, I do remember that she was a Titan and I don't know how husky she was. She may have died. Let's see, uh, Annie is a young girl of considerable short hair. Oh, wait, maybe Annie the... Uh... Iron dude, who guy who turned into Iron Titan, and then the one other Titan. I think all three of them came over when they were young to infiltrate something. Don't remember. Meh. I don't know, and I really don't want to read it. But you know what I should probably do? Let's just go to them ups and downs, because I, I don't know, folks. Ups and downs. She's not standing up. Does she have a little thing on the bottom? Whoa! Yeah, she does. She does have a little thing. I thought it was <laughs> missing or some shit like that. <clears throat> All right, clear the throat. Let's do these ups and downs and move on, folks. All right, uh, Colossal Titan right here. You got a piece of tape on you. I really couldn't open you up. I don't have the pre-release version, and this thing dropped in value. Oh, I don't even want to talk about it. Uh, you are uh, getting it down. You're getting it down. Yeah, just, I'm just going to give you a down. And Annie Lionheart, the female Titan that I kind of forgot about. Ooh. Ah, um, you know what? Down, 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 down. Attack on Titan. Yeah, yeah, you're getting it down. If I can find that uh, Aaron Yeager Hot Topic one, the one that's blue and shit, I give that another down too. That's right. I don't like Attack on Titan. My name is Aaron. Thank you for joining me with 8 Minutes with Aaron. I will see you next time when we talk about more things, more stuff, and maybe some more stuff that, <laughs> that I hate. I'll see you later. Goodbye.